Yes, 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 yes. All right. Hey, Brother Warren Crab, how you doing, brother? Good to see you today on Power Connections. What's up, my brother? <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I am so excited. Yes, I am <laughs> so excited today. You know what? I have uh, never seen this a day before. No, sir. No. I've never experienced this. I don't I don't know what's in store. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I exactly. And I, I, and I know it's going to be all good because all good, good uh, all things work, you know, to the good for those who work for God. So, yeah. so I know whatever happens today yes. is going to be awesome. Yes, you it know, is. I'm, I'm really looking forward to today. I've Absolutely. never lived this day before. Absolutely. It's awesome. Thank you I'm so much. I've been doing this day all my life. Amen. That's right, brother. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that's brother Dr. Warren Crabb over there, ladies and gentlemen. My, my partner, my co-host, ladies and gentlemen, in business, we're just excited about his wonderful life, his family life as well. Hey, we're excited about your life as well. That's what Power Connections is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Kevin Vaughn with you today, Dr. Warren Crabb. Hey, before we get started, I want you guys to go to the website <laughs> real quick. For those who don't know of him yet, go to the website. Do your homework there, folks. Powerful man of God, powerful, powerful brother. Got some great resources, great background, great credentials too as well, ladies and gentlemen. So check them out, D, the drproject.com for more details about that. But today, folks, we're going to be talking about the power of words with Dr. Crab today, ladies and gentlemen. We're so excited. You may ask, what's Power Connections? Well, Power Connections is all about bringing you powerful people that can literally change your life if you listen literally change your life if you grab on to what we're saying today, folks, because we got some powerful stuff for you. We're going to be talking about the power of words with Dr. Crab today, and I know you guys already know how important it is to say and do, or basically say things and do things in the proper way as well, but the words, words are so powerful. There's life and death in the tongue, folks. We know that, right? Some of y'all yes. know that already, so we got to talk about that today with Dr. Crab. I'm excited about you guys well. Uh, being with us. Hey, those listening live, thank you so much for being with us today. Those listening later on, appreciate you as well. I want you guys to push this out on your social media, guys. Push it out, especially my family and my all my followers, folks on the network. I want you to push this out because somebody's going to get blessed today when Dr. Crab yes. talks about our words. Hey, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. We got a little bit of time with them today, but we're excited about you being with us. Welcome to Power Connections with Dr. Warren Crab. And Dr. Kevin Vaughn with you today. Doc, take it away. Matter of fact, I'm so excited. Doc, I had to get my hat out, man. I'll get my hat out, man, so I can meet <laughs> Okay. Okay, cool, cool, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me get my hat ready, because Dr. I know Dr. Craig is going to be wearing his, man. His, man. Yeah, you know what? Well, that, that's my trademark, you know? Absolutely. Uh, my hat and my glasses, those yeah. are my trademarks. Absolutely. So, um, <laughs> you know, people have made memes of me. You yeah, know, and, yeah, and you know, yeah. I've always got a hat and my hat always matching whatever else I'm wearing, you yeah. know, in color. So listen, I want to talk about the power of words in our life. Mm. All right. Now, I know that a lot of people are aware that what goes into your mind through your ears affects the way that you think, feel and do things. Sir. Yes, sir. OK, but I'm going to assume. I am, I'm sorry, I am not going to assume that everyone Amen. has this information. Amen. So for those of them that are not aware of this information, I'm here to share it today. Amen. Okay. For those of them that, that are aware of it, I hope I say something to trigger something yeah. uh, that will help you in your growth, of, uh, your self-growth. Yes, yes. Now, um, first thing we have to know that we here in this country speak a different language that's been spoken in anywhere else on the earth. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, this language isn't but about six, 700 years old. It's the newest language on the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a bastardized language. By bastardized, I mean that it takes, uh, uh, all of our words have more than one meaning, first of all. Mm -hmm. All of the English words have more than one meaning. I don't care if it's I or A. It has more than one meaning. Yeah. Okay, it can be used in different contexts. Um, 
all of our words are made up of other words from other languages put together from the meaning of the words from the other languages like Greek and Spanish and uh, Arabic and uh, Hebrew and all those different languages. So I, when I studied linguistics, mm -hmm. I found out that every word that we say have meaning and that there's no such thing as going in one ear and coming out the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, what goes in stays in. Now, how it affects us is how we perceive what we're receiving. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. For example, I'm going to give you a perfect example. That's a nice hat. Mm -hmm. That's a nice hat. Thank you, you see the God. difference? Yeah. 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 You yeah. see the difference? Yep. First, I was excited. That's a nice hat. And then I was non nonchalant. Right. Oh, right. that's a nice hat. Right. Right. You know, right. the yeah. words were the same but the infliction of the words were different, which gave the exact same words different meanings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it seems simple, but we don't think about this. Oh, we don't. Okay, so by us not even thinking about it, yeah. our subconscious mind defends us yeah. against things that are harmful for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, I intend to be the first African-American trillionaire. Okay, so if something comes in my mind that's that's contrary towards my goals, yeah. my subconscious yeah. will automatically raise up the shield, pull out the sword, and slay them. That's right, buddy. That's right. That's right. But the body parts still be in there. Yeah. And it still be alive. Yeah. You know, and all it takes is one yeah. bad decision yeah. to make it flourish again in your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And lose track on becoming the first african-american trillionaire mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really that, that simple yeah, it yeah. really is that simple it's so simple that it's complicated you know i like to say that right That's it's right. so simple that it's complicated sure. the reason it's complicated because we don't think about it because it's so simple here's an example that water that i just drank yes sir in my mind it was refreshing. Yes, sir. It, it was cleansing. It gave me energy. Okay. I got all the nutrients from the earth from it. In my mind, that's my perception. Somebody else's lips just got wet. <laughs> the yeah. power of words that we tell ourselves yes, sir. is what dictates how our lives uh, 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 progress. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm an optimist. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to be a pessimist. Uh, I don't know how to come down on myself. You're not, you'll never be a trillionaire. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't know. If I don't become a trillionaire before I leave this earth, my children and children's children and children, children, children will. Amen. That's my perception. Setting everything up. Okay. Setting it up. So, setting it up for success. Yeah. So God has allowed me to be here this long. Mm -hmm. That means my mission isn't done. Yeah. Because when my mission is done, he's going to take me home. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I know my mission isn't done. And, and I think I said this before. There's only one thing I fear. I don't fear death. I don't fear pain. With pain, you're either going to heal up or you're going to die. Yeah. And I don't fear death. Mm -hmm. I fear facing my maker. And he said, why didn't you do what I told you to do? Yeah. That's my that's my grandest terror. Yeah, I know. That's a good one there, Doc. Yeah. Oh, because I know what he placed on me, to whom is given much is required. I know who, what he's placed on me. Yeah. And he never places a burden on you too great for you to bear. Yeah. Now, these words that I'm saying right now are all affirmations for someone. I'm saying positive words. I, 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 I'm giving positive spirits uh, for someone. For those of them, say, say a person is an atheist. Mm -hmm. Okay? Words are just as powerful for them. You know, you never lose until you quit. Right. When you fail, fail big. Fail continuously. <laughs> you know it's very important to fail and fail multiple times a lot of times mm -hmm. because if you don't fail that means you're not trying amen 
You know, you're not doing nothing if you're not failing. If everything you do is a success, all you're doing is breathing people's air. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not failing, you're not growing, you're not you know, giving in. Right. Uh, you're just taking out. Not being challenged. Yeah, <laughs> not being challenged. Yeah. You know, it's so easy, Absolutely. you know, that I can't fail. Well, guess what? For those of you who don't fail, I hope I don't hurt your feelings, but you are a failure. Mm-hmm. You're a true failure. You know, those of us that are trying to do things and we continuously fail, we're not failures. We just learn in different ways to do things until we get it right. <laughs> All right. Now, you see those words? Yeah. All those words were possible. Uh, 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 positive affirmations of people who are trying to achieve things in life all right now watch these words i don't care how hard you try i don't care who you tell i don't care what you tell yourself you ain't nothing you ain't gonna never be nothing you and you never have been nothing go get a job get a retirement check and shut up mm-hmm. now imagine being told that all your life right yeah. How would that affect you? Yeah. Yeah. I already know I ain't nothing because my mama said I wasn't nothing. <laughs> my mother said I would never accomplish anything in life. So I'm not even going to try. Right. Right. Okay. These words have an effect mm-hmm. on our self esteem, our endurance, mm-hmm. our positive, uh, what I call a PMA, a pos- uh, positive mental attitude. Uh, uh, it has an effect on all the things that are naturally inclined, built in you from birth. Mm-hmm. Not stuff you go to school to learn. This stuff is built in you from birth. It's being suppressed. Mm-hmm. No creature on the earth, I don't care if it's an ant, a bird, a bear, or a human. Yeah. No creature on the earth stands still in evolution. Right. It's a continual moving uh-huh. process. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how we move in this process dictates if you're going to be uh, the prey or the hunter. Mm-hmm. I love that lion that's behind. Yeah. It shows uh, uh, that he is going to take. His, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, he he is going to take care of business. That is the you no know, yeah. part of the lion pride. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that doesn't make him evil. It doesn't make him bad. It makes him follow his nature. There you go, Doc. There you go. Okay. So although, you know, blood is shed and stuff like that, this is nature to do that. He was created to do that. And he does exactly what he was created to do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Human beings have a problem with that. You know why? Because we have choice. Yeah. Yeah. See, they don't have a choice. The animals, they, they whatever they, they are. Uh, they yeah. do that's what they do that's until right. they die that's right <laughs> until they die they definitely focus doc i can tell you yeah. that focus, you know the human focus. beings have choice yeah, so we some all, of the choices yeah, we that all, we have yeah. are dictated by the words that are put into our brains and our minds into our souls and our spirits that's powerful right there doc okay and i'm just going to tell you man yeah you're right uh the things we're told as children yeah. affects the way we produce as adults. Yeah. If we were told as children that all women are no good, we're going to grow up treating women bad. Yeah. If we were told as children that all women should be respected, yeah. we're going to tr- grow up treating women good. Yeah. It's really that simple. The words, like I said, it's so simple, it's complicated. The, the words that that comes into our being yeah throughout the not just in childhood not just in childhood mm-hmm. as adults even oh absolutely yeah absolutely. you know the words that come into our being dictates no our self-esteem no. our right. positive mental attitude our goal setting our, yeah. our accomplishments yeah. It, it just everything yeah. the words yeah yeah you know, I can't emphasize this enough. The language that we're speaking is the newest language on the face of the earth, and every word has more than one meaning. 
So not only do they have more than one meaning, they have different in, inflictions yep. that cause the same words to mean different things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know people know this naturally, but to hear it now, maybe pe people can be conscious mm -hmm. of the words that they're receiving, how to place them in their lives. Right, right. You know? That's powerful there, Doc, right there. That's powerful. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, this, we're talking to Dr. Warren Crabley, Jim, about the power of words. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for being with us today on Power Connections. Without a doubt, ladies and gentlemen, our words are life and death. Their encouragement or discouragement, ladies and gentlemen, also as well. So it's so important that we watch. Matter of fact, one thing I have to do, Dr. Warren, I have to be able to just think about before, sometimes think before I speak. You know what I'm mm. saying? Just think before I speak because I don't want to put out there the wrong information, the wrong vibration, yeah. the wrong yes. spirit, if you will. So sometimes I just be quiet. Don't say yes. nothing. If you can't say it right, don't say nothing, Vaughn. So sometimes, folks, don't just blurt out everything you comes to your mind or comes to your spirit or whatever you want to call it. Don't just do that, folks, because you could be hurting your family member. It could be wife, children. It could be coworkers. You know, then we go back. One thing I don't like to do, Brother Warren, I don't like to come back and apologize. So <laughs> I don't want to come back and say, Brother Warren, I'm so sorry about that. I didn't really mean Yeah, it. yes, right. yes. So like doing that. Yes. Folks, we put ourselves in that position sometimes, yeah. though, by our words. Yeah. Especially, especially good friends and good people that you love. You don't yes. want to have to come back and say, oh, mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say yeah. that. No, no. Just don't even get there, Vaughn. Don't even get to that point. But guess what? You have the power, folks. You have the power. Don't say, well, I didn't know or the devil made me do it. Don't be blaming the devil for your action. He didn't make you do stuff. The devil don't make us do nothing. The enemy don't make it. Nobody can force you to do nothing you don't want to do, folks. Now, say it. That for sure. <laughs> Especially in the United States. Now, it may be different some places around the world. But the point is, the point is we have choice. Dr. Crabb mentioned, yes. folks, we all have choice. We all have opportunity. And we all have ways that we can do that. So, Brother Crown, I'm so happy that you're bringing this subject up. But, you know, it's so important to talk about children, too, a little bit. You kind of hit on yes. it already. But can you talk yes. a little bit more about how it's important to make sure when our children wake up and they come home from school, whatever, how it's important to just make sure they we lift them up in word? I can do that by telling you about my life. Okay, yes, I have two small boys. They're six and seven and years old. How all right. uh, they are the epitome of love. From the day they've been born, I've been showering. I'm, I'm, I'm my <laughs> wife too. I'm talking about me though. Right, okay, because right. you know mommy going to you know, get it in. Right. That's, that's <laughs> but daddy has been showering his children with love. See, mm -hmm. daddy didn't have a daddy. Right. So daddy know what a daddy is supposed to be doing and what a child wants to feel from a daddy. Yeah. Because daddy didn't have a dad. Right. And so I give them everything that I didn't have. Yeah. So every morning, yeah, every morning, if yeah. we are going to separate, like they're going to school or something, or if I'm going to work, if yeah. we're going to separate that day, that morning, yeah. I wake them up, first of all, with music. Oh, I love it. And I use a Charlie Wilson song, Blessed. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, I'm blessed. Yes. As soon as they hear that, they wake up smiling. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's a great song. Great song. And I come right to them and I grab both of them. Yeah, man. And I tell them, I love you so much. I am so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm so honored to be your father. Yeah. You're growing up to be fine young men. Yeah. I pray that God bless you with all the joy. Yeah. That's one of them. Peace. <laughs> Love, success yeah. that you deserve in your life. <laughs> that's how we start our day off. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. You know, yeah. and at night we have a ritual, you know, where I kiss them good night. Yeah. yeah. Now I was away from home for two days. Mm -hmm. Uh Tuesday and Wednesday. I got home by midnight last night. Yes, sir. They were out of sorts because I wasn't here. Right, right. Not that they are bad boys, because they're not. It's just that they are children. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, and they they go by the natural rhythm of things. They have no understanding of organization. 
right. except for what they're taught and they're very organized. My right. children are. They're right. very organized. But right. they have no organ no organization skills as far as life. They're being developed now by you. Yes. Yeah. So when something is different and goes away yeah. or you know is added yeah. to it that's negative, yeah. then yeah. it affects them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah. they they'll uh not necessarily be disobedient, but oh. they'll start doing a chore. Yeah. And get distracted and forget what they're doing <laughs> and get in trouble with their mother. <laughs> you know, and it's just because their mind is drifting right. because they're out of out of sorts. Right, right. You see? Yeah. Because those the power of those words that they've heard every day of their life. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. the last seven years. Right. And for the other one for the last six years. Mm -hmm. By not being there, they became distorted. So I know I have to raise them to carry these words in their heart because yes, daddy is not going to always be here. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right? So yes. I actually talk to my children like that. Yeah. I don't cuckoo, ca -ca, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. No, I talk to them because you know why? Let me tell you something about children. Mm -hmm. Y'all listen up close. I'm serious. Yeah. Children are not pets. Right. They're not property. They right. are human beings. Right. They just know a little bit. Right. They only know a little bit, but they still deserve the respect right. as a human being. Right. And that's how that's what I believe. That's why all the children love me. Yes, sir. That's like you're right, man. I love it. And this is how, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are parents out there, those who will be parents in the future, this is how we raise specifically. This has always been, but specifically in this day. Dr. Warren, we got to give them some heads up. We got to give them some uh, uh, additional information that they need yes. to survive out there, folks. Because that's right. be people is going to go contrary to everything you said, everything you teach in your home. Somebody going to try to say, no, nah, your mom and dad didn't say that. Yeah, that's they right. Be strong enough to say, yeah, they did. And keep <laughs> it moving. Yeah. That's right. And it's true. Yeah, exactly. What he told me is true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, because exactly. when I teach them things, they understand the difference between the truth and things yeah. are not that are not true. And yeah. one thing I teach, yeah, this is one thing I teach all of my patients mm -hmm. uh, when I do my motivational speaking, yeah. Uh, yeah. even when I'm, uh, you know, on in front of the pulpit. Yeah, yeah. I teach this. Once you know the truth, yeah. you can never ever unknow the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you know the truth, right. I'm going to say it again, you right. can never, ever unknow the truth. It's on, me. it's on me then, Doc. It's on me to make a decision. Okay. Yeah. Now you got choices. Yeah. Okay. I knew when I was growing up, the difference between right and wrong, good, bad, everybody does. Yep. But we make choices and we delve into situations yep. that yep. put us into other situations. Next thing you know, we're in Istanbul somewhere, and but our bodies are still here in, yeah. you know, in, yeah. in America. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> in I the deep it. south of America. You know, you know, Dr. <laughs> you know Dr. Crow, we were talking about this the other day. I, I know everybody knows this famous phrase from um, the movie, you can't handle the truth. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn yeah. it around. I'm gonna turn it around and say you can handle the truth. That's what I'm talking about. If you about. get it, ladies and gentlemen, you can handle the truth because yeah. you need to know it for growth. You gotta know it for growth, folks. Now, sometimes no, I, I'm going to use me. You know, I like to use the I statement. I don't like pointing yeah. fingers. Maybe okay. So yeah. because I am so imperfect. I can use me in a lot of examples. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes I yeah. had to tell myself, all right, that I am important. Yeah. I am a, 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 a person, a world changer. Yes. I am different. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I am no better than anyone. Yes. I don't know more than anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I know some different things. Yeah, yeah, and I and I you know I, I'm not better. I'm different. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know more. I know something different. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't put down anybody for because you know, especially you know, in my world, I deal with a lot of people who believe in God. And they call them by a lot of different names. Yeah, I had to come to the realization if I spoke Japanese and called out to God, He would hear me. Right. 
<laughs> if I spoke Swahili yeah. and called out to God, he would hear me. So he knows all the languages. Absolutely. I don't care what the word is to come out of my mouth, it means him. Yep. So he's going to hear because his grace and mercy is boundless. Yep. All things, all things <laughs> yeah. come from God, folks. All, all things. things. I don't care Everything. what language you speak. That's right. Don't matter. You know? I don't care what kind of foods you eat. That's I don't right. care where you live, in a hut or in a castle. Right. If you call out to him in your language, he's going to hear you and understand you and answer you. Yeah. Yeah. I love so it. So that, that gets me over the thing of, you know, uh, who's right and wrong and who's going the right path. But God loves all of us. Yes, sir. And in his infinite wisdom, he came at us different ways. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I, we may not understand it. We don't have to because we didn't create us. That's right. Yeah. All we got to do <laughs> and is. And it's not go. our plan, it's his plan. I said you mentioned that too, Dr. Craig, because all we got to do, folks, is be obedient. I'm That's telling you, it. Folks, is keep it simple. Be for those who believe now, you got to keep the obedience there. Don't don't get that twisted, folks. Just be obedient. You don't have to understand everything. Just be obedient to the things of God that comes your way. That's gonna change your wonderful, wonderful life. It's called faith, folks. You gotta have faith. Yes. I, I don't want to really get into preaching too much, but I again I have to use myself as an example. Yes, sir. When I gave because you know I was a man of the world. For real. <laughs> no play play. I was that man. And when I gave up my will and told God, okay, let your will be done. Praise God. Here on, in this earth yeah. as well as in heaven. Yeah, bro. And I stopped trying to make decisions for myself. Got in the passenger seat, strapped up, and got <laughs> ready for the ride. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you, it's been a beautiful ride. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's, you know, kind of disturbing because I don't know the plan and I don't do anything unless he tell me to do it. Yeah, yeah. I've become that obedient. Mm -hmm. if, God, if God doesn't tell me to do it, it won't be get done today. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And, and it's been, I'm telling you, it's been a beautiful, beautiful ride. I haven't lost anything. I didn't give up anything. Mm -hmm. I've gained everything. Amen. Amen. All my wildest dreams are coming true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Powerful man. All my wildest dreams are coming true right here on earth. Yep. Yep. Amen. Simply because I stopped trying to be the decision maker. That's word. Those I gave words. up my will That's and I became words. obedient. Amen. That's the words he's That's talking it. about. He's talking That's the words. You hear the words, folks? You, know? you, hear, you hear the words he's talking about? Yeah. He's creating and, your words. And I'm, and I'm loving it. I'm telling you, listen, yeah. ain't no more, ain't nobody more down to earth than me. Okay. I'm, I'm that man. I'm cool like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm down to earth, but I am loving <laughs> this ride with God. Hey, hey, God. <laughs> oh hey. man, it's a nice ride. Yes, now, I ain't is. saying this. I, I, I ain't saying I like it all the time. Sometimes right. it gets a little rough. Right. Okay. But I walk in faith. It's part of the journey, folks. I walk in faith. That's right. And I know at the end of the day, everything going to be all right. Amen. Amen. He ain't let me down yet. He hasn't since I turned my will over. He hasn't let me down not one time. Yeah, I love it, man. Not once. So, folks, you can see why we got Dr. Crab on Power Connections, folks. He is going to help you. He's helping me each and yes. every week. We're here every Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, talking about. I want you guys to go to his website too, folks. That's the quickest way to get to know him, real quick. The drproject.com for more information. This is a powerful brother, folks. That's why we have him on Power Connection. Well, Dr. Crab, you know, one thing I want you to do today, if you don't mind, I've got some affirmations we're going to share with you, but I want you to give us some takeaways today, man. You got to challenge right. us today. I want you to challenge us as we got some men, women, and young people listening, and they need to have a little uh, checkup from the neck up from the doctor today. <laughs> right. Help us now, out. Now, you know, lately, you know, there's been songs about looking in the mirror and telling yourself you're beautiful, you know, and things like that. Let me tell you something about the doctor. At one time, I found that not only did I not like myself, mm. I hated myself. Mm. And this is from my childhood uh, yeah. experiences, you know. Um, my adverse childhood experiences caused me to hate myself. So yeah. when I realized this 
And I realized not only did I not like myself, that I hated myself, I had to go to the mirror and I had to tell that guy, you know something, you all right, man. You're not a bad person, you know? Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a list of good things about you. There you go, bro. You know? yeah. and, I, and every day I went to that mirror, I said, man, you all right. Yeah. You all right, man. You're not a bad person. Yeah. And the list is getting longer and longer about the good things about you, you yeah. know? And then I started telling myself, man, I like you. Yeah, I like you today. You, man, yesterday was awesome. I like you. Yeah. And then I started telling myself, oh, I love you so much. Yeah. I love you so much. Yeah. And when I got the love in myself, yeah. that's when I, you know, uh, found out that every decision that I was making was a fluke and that somebody else could make better decisions for me if I would just give my will over, you know? Those words, today's subject is the power of words. Those words brought me out of the brink of destruction. Uh, here in the South, uh, to put it more blandly, it pulled me up out of the muck. No, miry muck. <laughs> miry muck. <laughs> I'm talking about I was this far in the muck and got pulled up by one strand on my ball head out of the muck. I hear that. You know, the yeah. power of words. Talk to yourself. Yes. Talk to yourself. I challenge you yeah. to talk to yourself. Yeah. And tell yourself what the beautiful things about That's yourself. Right. Right. Daily. Yeah. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. Talk about your good, your good attributes. Yeah. Talk about how the kindness of your heart. Don't talk about negative things. Right. I don't care who hates me. Right. I care who loves me. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that hater stuff. Mm -hmm. All that's negative energy. Mm -hmm. But what about the people who need me, the people who love me, mm -hmm. and the people that I'm going to meet who's going to need me and who's going to love me? Mm -hmm. That's where I put my energy yeah. today because I, I told that. myself that. Yeah. Those words came out of my mouth and I heard them with my ears. I ain't say think it, I said say it. Yeah, powerful. Bro. When you say it, it comes yeah. back to you and yeah. it becomes power. Yeah. And I challenge you to grab onto that power. I love it. Man, this is the doctor. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, Doc, I just looked up the population of the planet, ladies and gentlemen, 7.98 billion people. And guess what? There's nobody on the planet ever will be like you. You wow. gotta know that. <laughs> you gotta know that. Before the planet was started, nobody like you. After yeah. it came on the scene with the people, nobody like you. Yeah. In the future, I don't care if it's 50 billion years from now, nobody will be exactly like you. Wow. And we like have that. to realize that. Woo! Man, I get we have to realize that. The, yeah. People are not like me. They That's think right. different. They That's feel right. different. They That's have right. different experiences. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have to respect yeah. that. Yes, exactly. That nobody's like thinks like you. That's right. Even identical yeah. twins, Doc. Identical are different. twins. Are yeah. different. Are different. So come on, people. They, there's no way the mind is going to be the same mind. They, they ain't going to work like that. They may look the right. same. In fact, there's even some differences between the twins. If you really look at them, you'll see. I know. I know a set of twins that were correction officers. Yeah. One used to beat up people. Wow. Yeah. And the other one was a humble man. Isn't that something? Just the opposite. That's crazy. He was just as dangerous. Wow. Seventh degree black belt. Right. Had a, had a martial arts school and everything, yeah. and he was humble. He wow. didn't just jump on people right, right. because they, he didn't like the way they pressed right, him. Right, right. That's something. Yeah. That's something. Yes. Wow. Hey, folks, this is Power Connections with Dr. Warren Crabb. We're here, Lord will, we're here every Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the network. Hey, we want to leave you with a few affirmations real quick before we go, guys. Some positive affirmations today. I want you to repeat after me if you want to, but you don't have to. The first one is, I love me. <laughs> we love me. That's what I got for Dr. K. I love me. I love me today. I love me some Another me. one. My <laughs> mind. My mind is clear and alert today, ladies Ooh, and gentlemen. Ooh. My mind is clear and, and alert. I love it. I am confident and courageous. Woo. I oh, am God. confident and courageous. Ooh, I love it. And next one, I care about others. That's a good one there, Doc. I care about Ooh. others. Oh, I love it. The next one, I love and I am loved. I love 
and mm. I am loved. Amen. My body is healthy. Ooh, my body is healthy. healthy, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. I am trustworthy. Yes, I am. I am trustworthy. Ooh. I am trustworthy. Oh, this is a good one, Dr. Today. Craig. This is yours <laughs> right here. I was created to create. I was created to, to create. create. Powerful, folks. You got to wow. tell yourself that. Mom and daddy, tell your children that, too, when they come home from school. They probably yes. Like that. Let them know how powerful they are so they can do anything they put their mind to. The next one, Dr. Crab, is I can be alone with myself and feel confident. Ooh. Ooh. I, don't have I can to have be with me. Yes. And feel confident about it. I love it. Not powerful. And last but not yes. least, ladies and gentlemen, we just want to put this in your wonderful ear spirit today, if you will. My potential is unlimited, Dr. Crab. <laughs> My potential is unlimited. Hashtag Transcontinental Society yes. Unlimited Productions. Yes. <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Power Connections with my wonderful host, friend, ladies and gentlemen, the um, awesome and unique Dr. Warren Crabb, ladies and gentlemen. You can see why he's on Power Connections. Hey, we want you guys to get some feedback. I want you guys to get feedback, too. I want to hear from you guys on the network. You guys, get in touch with Dr. Crabb on the drproject.com. Please go out there and check them out. Powerful brother, man. And also, guess what? I want you to share this out as well on your network, folks. Hey, also, too, Doc, I want to do a quick commercial. Anybody, if you guys need some uh, speaking engagements, I want you to call Doc, Dr. Warren Crabb. You can, you can do it virtual or you can, in, your, in your state, maybe in the state of Florida, you can get him to come to your location. We talk about organizations, groups, uh, associations, anybody, your business partners, business organization. Have and Dr. I am Crabb. willing to travel. Absolutely. I do travel yeah, to exactly. speak. Yeah, exactly. So you guys can so get your budget out. It ain't free. Okay, you understand that. You got to pay him now for your time, for his time. But the point is, you want to be able to bring him in, folks, and talk to him. Matter of fact, I just met a, uh, matter of fact, the other day I was doing some shopping, Brother Crab. I met a teacher, and we're going to mm -hmm. be doing some stuff with one of the schools in the metro Atlanta area. So, you know, things like that. Uh, any schools, uh, principals that are listening right now, you yes. can see in Dr. Crab and talk to the young people about life about careers and uh, things like that. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Hey, you can also get in touch with me as well, folks, for those on our network. I'll make sure Dr. Crab gets your request there as well. Okay, guys, appreciate you so much. Hey, Dr. Crab, any final thoughts, man? We got to go. Yes. Always remember to tell yourself yeah. positive affirmations yeah. every day. I challenge you yeah. to love yourself. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, my friend. Hey, the power of words, folks, is our topic today with Dr. Warren Crabb. Thank you so much, Doc. I love it. I benefited today. I hope you guys benefited. Hope you all took some notes, too. And if you didn't, you can listen to this over and over and over. Yes. <laughs> well, Dr. Warren Crabb, we want you to always, always, as my mentor would say, always remember today, ladies and gentlemen, to always out love, out serve, and out forgive each other. And remember that Jesus is Lord. God bless you, folks. Dr. Crab, have a powerful and productive day. Matter of fact, it already started, man. As soon as we woke yes, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been waiting on this day all Amen. my life. Amen. All right. <laughs> and you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for your time. We are excited about your life. Let us know how you're doing, folks. And uh, we'd love to have you guys come on and help us out sometime in the future. We'll have to invite some guests in the future, Dr. Warren, on this one. Yes. I'd uh, love to have you guys chime in. But you guys hit me up. And we'll schedule you guys some time in the future, okay? Take care. Hey, remember, have a great day. And remember, there's nothing you can't do with the power of words. Take care now. Thank you, Brother Warren. Thank you.